All right, rapid fire Wednesday bi week edition with Andy Gresh. All right, Pat's practicing today and tomorrow. Self scouting, trying to get better. What's the point of this week, Gresh? Well, it's to tighten up everything, number one, and to make sure that you go back to paying attention to detail. I think there'll be a lot of film work, there'll be a lot of teaching that will go on, but ultimately, it's rest preparation and then you start to look ahead your mind is going to wonder about the possibilities of who you're going to play right. i think the coaches will spend more time on that than the players but everybody in the back of their mind is going to be thinking about mm. we wonder who's coming in here on sunday all right and bill belichick was asked this directly of course he didn't answer it directly if you're bill belichick who do you want to see I think you want to see the Texans because you know them, you're familiar with their coaching staff, you have a really good idea as to how they're going to attack you, and this is where Hoodsworth gets into the lab with Ernie Adams and crew, and they figure out different ways to do things. And I think we started to see some of those plays come out against the Jets, but we know they've been sitting on stuff. And now do they have the ability to implement that against what is a pretty good Texans defense if they're the team that comes rolling in here? I asked our buddy Nick Fryer this last night. I want your answer. Josh McDaniels, Brian Flores, Rob Gronkowski, who, if any, or all are back next year? All of them, I think, are back next year. Really? I think McDaniels will kick the tires, but ultimately he was lured back here once before. I just don't think he's ready to go. I don't think Brian Flores gets an offer yet. One more year as defensive coordinator and having a good year like I think he's had this year. Then I think he'll get a job. And if Brady's coming back, I think Gronk's coming back. McDaniels, you don't think that Packers job is intriguing? Well, I'm not saying it isn't intriguing, Yanni, but there's a reason he got sucked back into the vortex that was Bill B. Hoodsworth and the New England Patriots. So there's got to be something here. There's got to be some sort of long-term plan. And while I know he's going to use it for leverage, ultimately at the end of the day, I just think he comes back home and or maybe doesn't get the offer that he wants in terms of control. He's getting head coach money as an offensive coordinator. All right, um, two weeks ago after the Steelers lost, we said, oh, they're going to beat the Bills and the Jets, and what will we really learn about them? That, of course, happened. So the way they looked, though, versus the Jets, you have to feel better about the Pats now than following the two losses against Miami and Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, I mean, look, it's nice for us to feel better about it, but ultimately it's what they know and what they believe up there at Gillette Stadium. And if it makes you feel good, fine. I don't think we really learned anything because the Jets, I mean, in the second half, there were guys waiting to figure out where they were partying on New Year's Eve and a coach who got fired on the tarmac when they landed <laughs> back in New York. So, yeah, I can't really put a ton of stock into that win. There were encouraging signs. To me, it's all about that play design because now without someone like Josh Gordon on the outside, play design is going to become that much more important for the Patriots to continue to score points. All right, Gresh, we're going to get more into detail on the three possible matchups tomorrow, but uh, thanks for joining us on Rapid Fire Wednesday.